Hi, my name is Orly Vardeni from the University of Minnesota and the Minneapolis VA uh, healthcare system. And today I presented results from the influenza vaccine to effectively stop cardiothoracic events and decompensated heart failure trial, otherwise known as the INVESTED trial. So we know that each year flu or influenza leads to significant morbidity, mortality, increased healthcare costs, and that people with underlying cardiovascular disease are at an increased risk for complications from influenza. There's also been a temporal relationship or an association between influenza and acute cardiac events such as myocardial infarction uh, or heart failure. We know that influenza vaccine can reduce these acute uh, cardiac events and that there are different vaccine formulations that are available on the market. The high dose vaccine is FDA approved currently in adults age 65 and older and contains four times the amount of antigen as the standard dose vaccine. Uh, however, it's and it's been shown to reduce uh, influenza illness compared to standard dose vaccine. And we know that patients with heart failure have a reduced immune response to influenza vaccine and that giving a higher dose can overcome that response. So our study question was whether high dose vaccine would improve uh, clinical outcomes in patients with high risk cardiovascular disease compared with uh, standard dose influenza vaccine. So we en enrolled individuals that were within a year of having a myocardial infarction or uh, within two years of being hospitalized for heart failure. And in addition to uh, risk factors such as older age, chronic kidney disease, diabetes, and obesity, uh, among others. And randomized participants to receive either high-dose trivalent inactivated influenza vaccine or standard-dose quadrivalent inactivated influenza vaccine. And the individuals could receive vaccine for up to three influenza seasons per their original randomized group. The primary endpoint of this trial was the composite of death or cardiopulmonary hospitalization within each influenza season. We enrolled participants from 150 sites in the US and in Canada. And this was overall a high risk group. We enrolled 2,630 participants uh, received uh, standard dose vaccine and 2,630 participants received high dose vaccine. This was a cohort with a high number of comorbidities such as diabetes and obesity. 28% were female, 15% were black and 10% were of Hispanic or Latino heritage. And what we found was that there was no significant difference between high dose compared with standard dose vaccine on the outcome of all cause hospitalization or all cause mortality, excuse me, or cardiopulmonary hospitalization. That is hospitalization for a cardiac or pulmonary reason. Um, these results were also consistent across several secondary endpoints. Um, as well as consistent across 12 pre-specified subgroups, including age uh, greater than or less than 65, as well as whether participants entered the study based on having had an MI or heart failure hospitalization. In terms of side effects, we know that influenza vaccine in general is very well tolerated. In this trial, we found that there was a higher uh, incidence of vaccine-related side effects among recipients of high-dose vaccine compared with standard-dose vaccine. And these included pain at the injection site, swelling at the injection site, as well as myalgias or, or muscle pain. Uh, in general, people that were randomized to high-dose vaccine had more overall uh, vaccine-related side effects. However, the incidence of severe adverse reactions were low in both groups and not significant between the groups. And so what we found on our overall message is that influenza vaccine remains important, especially 
in this high risk group that is more prone to complications. Um, so our results don't minimize the importance of influenza vaccination in this high risk group, but suggest that there may not be a difference between high dose and standard dose influenza vaccine on reducing uh, hospitalizations for heart or lung reasons or on reducing mortality.